Alright guys, welcome back to another video. We're in this video, I'm at a convenience store, and we're going to be throwing some redstone into this thing. So, basically we have a convenience store, it's just the normal colors at the top, and then, you know, the front two windows, some iron, and let's just walk in. And of course we need some sliding doors because that's always in a security system or like convenience store because it look, just looks fancy. So yeah, let's get straight into that redstone build. So, let's just go over here, and there's some pistons right there, and pistons right there. Those are both sticky pistons. And if we just go around the other side, you can see if we place a block right here, I mean, a block right here, actually, we can get some redstone torches and make a really simple system. See, when we place that, both of those will extend. Then we're just going to do the same over here just like that okay so now we should be able to go down underneath this system place a redstone torch there so they're both off like this as you can see they're both open now and now all we need to do is get some pressure plates like this and place them here 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 and here and actually I'm gonna remove those two bookshelves because it was just getting in the way so now we're just gonna want to go underneath these and um, get some redstone and then go out of here place some redstone down underneath these so now if we step on this one both of those should be powered immediately like this so yeah whichever one we step on it they'll both be activated now all we need to do is clear some area down here and just run it straight into this block just like that and there we go that's the system done so we just want to drop that one, go back, and like that. So now we step on these, it'll do that, but actually we don't want that. So what we're gonna do to fix this system is just place redstone torches like that and a redstone torch like that. So now when we step on these, as you can see, they'll both open. We can go to the other side. Now we just need to do this side, and then the system will be complete. Now this side is a little bit easier because all we need to do for this side is just hook up um actually we need to do it individually so hmm this is a very complicated system what i think we actually need to do is make one more layer down there and then just you know build the rest of it like this and then just build up and do that. So just do it without the redstone torch and go down an extra block. And just like that, you should see that this system will work again. Let's test it one more time. So we can open it and close it. Then all we need to do for this one is just hook up that like this. So they can step on this, oh, if we can actually get on there. Step on this, they both open, go through, you step on this, and then they'll both open. Perfect. So now we have this working system, you just walk straight through, and it works. Okay, good. So now that we have that system done, I think we should have a little, like, toilet area. Now I have already built the inside of this area. This is the sink, um, and it's just simply built by putting two upside down stairs. On the side, put a cauldron, fill it with water. Now on this side, um, this is for like, um, I think it's like, I don't know what I did here actually. I think this was actually the toilet. Let me get rid of this because we're actually going to be building a toilet. Um, but this system is probably one of the easiest systems I've ever built. It's right here. You just want to place a hopper down there with a cauldron with water on top. And then just place a button right there. And then, in theory, we need to place a dropper right here, like that, and then block like that. Now, this will dispense the toilet paper, and then this, of course, you can poop on, and then you can flush it. Yeah. Let's just pop her in the back and make this. Okay, new design. Now, this design is a little bit not compact, I would say. What this one contains is a 
the button to not be there, a dropper facing in like that. So the button would be like this. That would be the flushing mechanism. And then you're just going to want to get a sticky piston. Go underneath, place it facing downwards like that with a redstone block on its face. Just like that. So now this actually needs to go into a storage system. So we're going to get a chest just like that. And we're going to pop it into our inventory. Place down a chest right there. Actually, in fact, we could do a double chest just for extra measure. And then for even extra measure in case someone has to take an extraordinarily large dump, we're just going to make another chest. Okay. So, to test the system, um, first we need to close up the floor because we don't want anything in there. So, let me just get mentally prepared for this. First we need to get some toilet paper because you know that's a very important part. So let's just go into here. And we're going to fill this all up. Just like that. Okay. Now, the moment of truth. Let me get mentally prepared again. Uh, okay. Now it should still be in here. Like so. Like so. It's still in there. Oh, wait. Let me actually get a uh, bottle. This for, this is for extra measure. Extraordinarily measure. And we're actually just going to want to fill it up a tiny bit just to that. And then let me get mentally prepared again. And uh, Okay. So as you can see, my brick is floating around in there. Let me just throw it again. Well, it doesn't have to actually be a brick. But then when we press this button, it will dispense a towel. And then it will get rid of that um, brick. Then when you're done with the towel, you can either throw it in there. And then I guess we can have another system right here that only gets rid of that. So just like that. That's kind of a trash. I guess we could actually make another trash though. We can make a trash right here. Okay. So for this system, you're just going to want to get a trap chest. And the trap chest is actually very important because if you accidentally throw something in there, you don't want it to immediately be dispensed and completely be gone forever. So now when we put something in here, as you can see, it will stay in there until we I'm gonna close it and then it will go down into the hopper. So, what we're going to take this into is just a dropper um, like that because if someone throws an arrow in there, we don't want it to actually be dispensed. So, then the little system that we're going to make at the back is quite very simple. It's just a little like detector which will then fire off stuff. So what you want to do is get a comparator, put it right there. Then you're going to want to place a block in front of it. A block right there. Um, redstone. A block right there. A repeater right there. So let's just get a repeater. And then a block right here with a piece of redstone. So then when we put something in here, as you can see, it will fire it out. I mean, it should have, actually. Let's just place another piece of redstone right here. It doesn't fire it out. What is wrong with me? Um, this is quite embarrassing, actually. Let's just put it like that. Like that. And then connect that up. So now, yeah, when we put anything in here, as you can see, it will immediately be dispensed, but then when it's done dis dispensing it, it will stop dispensing, so let's just take some out because we don't want to be here all day. As you can see, when it stops, that should turn off. Perfect. Okay. So this system is now working. We're going to collect all those because we don't actually need that. So now, when we put something in here, let's say we put that in there, and then we're like, oh no, I don't want to get rid of that. I want to get rid of my seeds. You put those in there, you empty it. And then they'll all be fired out right there. Perfect and slick system. So, um, let's just move on from the bathroom because that's a pretty yucky place. And we don't want to be in there. Come on, let me out. I always have problems with iron doors. Okay, there we go. Now, what I was going to say is, this next system um, is very complicated. No, I'm kidding. It's one of the easiest systems I've ever done. It's called like a key card system. All you're going to do is just break through the back where this trapdoor is, 
or you can technically build whatever you want. Just build it two blocks away from this, or a reasonable space. So we're actually just going to do it right here, actually, so it's inside the cash register area, so you can actually access it. Then coming out of the back of that, you're going to want to place a hopper, a um, comparator coming out of that hopper, which luckily we just got a block right there, um, a block right here, and then some redstone dust, like that. Then a block right there, and then we need to break a couple of blocks at the back, and place a redstone torch, just like that. Just like that. Now, in theory, um, you need to put a password in, too. I always forget things in these videos. It's kind of embarrassing. But if you want to place 18 in this lot of anything, and then just fill the rest of those in. If you put anything else in there, um, yeah, if you do that, then it'll completely break the system. But um, immediately, let me explain what the system does. Basically, every single time you put um, something in this, and it's the right password, it'll go into the here. And go into the biggest number, which is 18. So then, when it reaches 19 plus and there's four, which is 23, and then this person torch will turn off because of the power that this is putting out, which will just turn on that one piece right there, which will then turn off this, which then will enable this to go back. Now, what also this enables it to do is run into a RS nor latch, which is built like this: a dropper facing up and a dropper facing down. Now, you're just going to want to place a block in the bottom dispenser, like that. And then you want to take an output from the top dispenser. Oh god, my microphone just fell. Biggest fail, 2016. Ah, actually, it's 2017 when I made this video, if you're wondering. Basically, then we can take a compare output, like that. A block right there. A block right no we don't want it to be too uncompact so we're actually just gonna oh that's just confusing I guess we're gonna make an output like this running into a block with the redstone torch with a block right there a piece of redstone right here a repeat I mean another torch and then not a block right there, I'll also create a redstone burnout. But I guess we can just cover this top area up like this. But then we need to run it into that somehow. Ah, oh, God. Okay. So we need to power this, in theory. So we need to get a compared output from here all the way over to there. How are we going to do this? Um. We could redesign the system a bit. Yeah, let's do, just do that. So we could actually take an output from this side, but then they'll burst at the back, and we don't want that. Oh, it's so confusing. Um, I guess we could actually just put a, that right there. And that right there, but that won't power it. Um, we need to power this directly from like that angle, and okay, so we can still do that, but what we need to do is not drive that off into a direction, but turn it into this. Oh god. Why is it so confusing? Why? We could put a torch right here and then that can go around, but that means it will always be open. Ah! We could do that. Okay, here's the system, but you're going to have to be very, very careful walking in. Okay. So, here's the system. We can place some blocks right here. And then we can destroy the ceiling because we don't need the ceiling. And, okay. So basically, this system is now 
in place and it should be like that okay so the only thing showing right now is this I mean that's fine it's fine with me but let's just go out which is place that like that so now we can do that and then the password was a C lamp turn so we can just place that in there and then you can place a button on here you can go straight through now let me demonstrate what you can do with this if we can get out of the door if this password is incorrect and it's this nothing will happen okay that's perfect now we're just gonna place some storage in here because we can um, so we're just gonna get a ton of chests and they can be trash chip um, uh, trapped chests or whatever you technically want everything's fine with me so just place some storage and then like this perfect okay that's enough storage for me pop out and then of course we need to make a secret entrance because we are very fancy here and we like secret entrances to a secret vault in the ground yay so what we're gonna basically do for this is just place this right here so when it extends it will do that and then a block right here and a block of whatever t the floor is on top of it now this system is the easiest system I've ever built in my entire life and also one more sticky piston right there so for this system you need a block right here a repeater set to three ticks block repeater set to one tick right there nope right there running into it like that and then get some redstone yep you've just done the system easy as that okay we're done <laughs> like seriously that's one of the easiest systems I've ever built now all we need to do is make it a, a secret entrance but because we don't, we don't want to be too um, hidden we're just gonna put that right there I guess we could do a redstone torch key you know what, I think that's a great idea we're gonna do a redstone torch key guys so basically when we put this down it will retract and then push back up and then open this system so how we're gonna do this is you're just gonna wanna pop down beneath the floor and then break a bunch of blocks because yellow we can and just like that okay now for this system you're gonna want two sticky pistons a block of redstone a redstone repeater a redstone torch some redstone and another repeater I get I mean another sticky piston and then a block of your choice and that's about it okay so just place that um what's it called sticky piston right there a block of redstone right there a block of iron or whatever choice you want or a repeater set to two ticks right there running out to a block with a piece of redstone okay we finished that system too so now technically whenever we are to place a redstone torch right here that will pop down and then pop back up simple as that so let's go back down here and create the system to open the door just place a redstone torch right there block down here a piece of redstone a sticky piston in the ground a block on top of it a repeater running out of it like that running into a sticky fist piston facing in any direction a block of your choice like that a redstone torch on the ground a, a piece of redstone right there and because this is automatically off we are going to have to create a little system by putting another redstone torch and then taking the system up like that okay so now that that system's done too this is all we need to do is patch everything up and then build one more redstone contraption yes another redstone contraption okay so we're inside let's test this thing 
And by the way, you can take this down to wherever you want. We are just gonna take it down into a hole. You can take it wherever you want. We can we can actually just take it into all the redstone here. But of course, you might not want to do that because then it'll actually look pretty ugly. And just place a block right there and a block right there. Okay. So moving on to the last thing. We are gonna build a secret exit. Oh yeah, secret exit. And it's just built peeking into the bathroom because everybody knows stuff inside of the bathroom everybody loves. So just like that and like that and then this can go down into your secret escape. But how we're going to create the system is just some redstone right there. And then I'm pretty sure if we were to activate that, it will activate both of the. Apparently not. Okay. Apparently I'm wrong. If we place some redstone right here. Now this can make be as secret as you want. It doesn't necessarily have to be a secret. But yes. That is completely um, activated both of those. Now one more thing would to be the activation of this. And we're just going to have a button right here. Because we can. Okay. A button on top of the um what's it called like right there so it almost blends in but you know we all know it doesn't actually blend in yeah like that secret entrance cool okay that's the last thing for this tutorial if you did enjoy it, please make sure to hit that like button and if you absolutely loved it please make sure to subscribe for more daily content and i will see you all in the next video have a lovely day goodbye bye